Sunday, September 3rd. We're on our way up to uh, Portland Island. Discovery Island off our starboard bow and just about to start Discovery Island you can see the tip of Mount Baker. Beautiful location. We got some other traffic coming into the channel over by Oak Bay. To uh, Oak Bay Marina over in the distance. Royal Victoria, Royal Oak Bay Yacht Club, I think it is. The Royal Victoria Yacht Club in the distance. Chloe is just nuzzled, nuzzled in with mummy. with all the ferry traffic so we're we picked a, picked up anchor and heading out there so it's uh, roughly three o'clock in the afternoon beautiful day out as you can see absolutely perfect day for boating always there lounging away Liz has got her camera Radio traffic on the go. And here we go. And the old bateau. That's what's going on down below decks. It's a little messy. But as you can see, we are having a great time. As we march on over to Russell Island, we're just taking in the uh, beautiful sights. Hopefully we'll have a nice little calm evening to visit with our good friends Lloyd and Cheryl. Tracks 
are taking us. We're just going to go into the crook in the island right up in this area, probably. Right in there. Alright, here we are buttoned up alongside Alieska. Got the, uh, the boat all settled in. Got our dinghy here. Got a boat just driving by. We got a jetty over here on Russell Island. And then of course Alieska's dinghy over here. So what we're gonna do, put the motor here onto the boat. Get the barbecue ready to go. We'll go for a little putt-putt ride over to the island and go for a little walk. And then we may end up venturing all the way into uh, Fulford Harbor, which you see over here flying on our starboard bow. Liz is getting uh, supper ready. I just got my new drink holder mounted. And everything is good. Chloe is getting some shade down below the uh, captain's chair. And Liz is getting the taters on for the barbecue. Have a nice, nice feast this evening. And of course, Alieska is the one that's anchored, and we're just berthed up alongside Alieska. See our little boat in the distance, berthed up alongside Alieska, and then we have our dinghy just down there. It's the middle one. And here's all the anchorages in uh, Russell Island. Beautiful location. And just look at how clear that water looks. Oh, it's just beautiful. On this side, look at how you can actually see right to the bottom, quite far out. Just a beautiful, beautiful location. And we're going to take the dog for a pee. Here's Russell Island, a little trail system. Parks Canada acknowledges the land donation made to the Gulf Island National Park Reserve by Judith Rohrer Anderson, Lynn Rohrer Zinsley, and Elizabeth Rohrer. And then we have a little plaque about those who came before. And then off to the trails we go so Chloe can have fun. We've just stumbled upon some really nice old growth timber. It's way up. Look at the size of that beauty. Come here. Oh, he's trying to get away from me. of Russell Island you can see some people have built up some anuk chucks or whatever they're called. Nice beautiful bay. How nice is that? Check out the historic homestead. This is the Homea Trail. You can see the wood braced path, and we have a settler's life self sufficiency for survival. A little explanation of the homestead. Here we go. And here, just off to the left hand side of the trail, looks like to be. An old shed, or maybe this is the old homestead. Who knows? It's more like a shed. And this is the... Oh, there we go. We are here. For its modest size, the house had accommodated impressive numbers of friends and families over the years. Many Hawaiian, First Nations, and European visitors stopped in at Russell Island. This house was the centerpiece of Maria Mahoy's hospitality. It is fondly remembered by friends and family. 
late owners and caretakers of the special place. So there you go, there's the timeline. And here's the big clearing, and you can actually see the homestead up here. Very nice. Remnants of uh, an old orchard. You got big apple trees in the background. Beautiful spot. An old bicycle sitting by the tree. Pretty cool location. Apple tree here, tons of apples in it. There's the old bike and then the old homestead. Very cool. It's all glassed in so you can see what it looked like back in the day. All right, Clobert. Here you go. See the big old apple tree in the back, just flush with the apples. That looks like a little tower they've made. Back in the day, a little lookout tower, I imagine. Very neat location. Look where we're going, Chloe! We're going back to yonder, Chloe? the 4th of September, I think. And there's our nested vessels over there. Had a really good night's sleep and had an enjoyable evening. And here we go. Doggy has to go for a walk. So we're back on the dinghy pier at Russell Island to give Chloe a little bit of a bathroom break. And of course, flat, calm weather, no wind whatsoever. Just a beautiful day with all the other boats at anchor. Just a lovely uh, weekend to spend away from the home on the boat and having an enjoyable time with friends. Lovely location. There we are with Chloe. In the bow of the boat, we got some really nice boats in and around the area here. It's, it's like an old, looks like a Chris Crack craft, but I don't think it is. I'm not sure. Anyway, there's our little nested raft of humankind. We have the bigger Alyeska and our little 27-footer, which looks tiny in comparison, but it is a good little home to us. And in the distance you can see the uh, Fulford Ferry pulling in, and we've got a sailboat kicking around, and just off to the shore, off to the end there, we have a really nice uh, waterfront shore area. Chloe just can't wait to get back to her money. Right, Chloe? Right? There's another sailboat boat tucked even in behind there. We had a couple of guys come over and ask wanting some beer, so we obliged them. And 
then there's Lloyd up on the uh, pilotage of Alyeska, taking in the sights. And Mummy's still not. Oh, yeah, got the tea kettle up there, so she is up. And then we have the nice Livingston dinghy that uh, Lloyd boots around in. It's a lot faster than my little dinghy here. Oh, we've got some kelp that's getting in her way here. We're dragging it along. It's a lovely morning, isn't it? Excellent. The pilotage of Alyeska. Checking out our baby boat sitting beside. Liz is having her morning coffee. And the noble crew and captain of Alyeska are having their breakfast with their puppies. Here's a panoramic view from up on the pilotage showing all the controls shoreline right nearby and the baby boat next to it next to them with the poop on the roof and Dax what are you doing there there they go off to the boat over there in the little dinghy yonder's dinghy and yonder is on the other side of Alyeska she's hidden or maybe my boat sunk, I don't know.